What is good, yo? It's your boy Ty back here with another video. And in this video today, guys, we're going to be going over and talking about the new rewards added to NBA 2K23, my team. Now, at the start of this video, I'm not going to know exactly where these rewards are at. So, I mean, watch my season breakdown video as well. But we're going to be going over talking about, you know, these specific rewards which ones are worth getting for you guys and ultimately with that okay what you should focus on grinding so you know if i'm high on three cards and let's say two of them are rng the one is in a mode then you know maybe you should focus on that specific mode to get that card now before we dive any further into that if you are new to my channel and have not yet make sure you guys do smash that subscribe button so we're on the road towards 120,000 subscribers so we've got to start it off with the Galaxy Opus. Now, this is a level one reward. So for the average person, if they load up the game, they'll get a Galaxy Opal Josh Giddy. Now, I've got to say this. This card is not bad for a level one reward. I mean, he's 6'8", and he's basically the exact same as the high-res Josh Giddy. Now, you guys, again, might not want to sit here and gas him because objectively, he's not like a top five point guard in the game. But giving him out for free as a as a level one reward, so basically everybody gets him for free, is a is is, is a great start to the season. I'm just throwing that out there. Steven Adams, again, I'm not exactly where he's at, but he doesn't even look that bad. Center power forward, can play a little defense, shoot the ball as well. If he is like, I don't know what he would be. Like, um, I, I'm trying to think of, I'm going to look at the level 40 we got right now. If Steven Adams, let's say, is the level 10 reward, he's not bad either. Again, not going to make the best squad in the game, but he plays defense. And again, for the new person starting the game, Josh Giddy, Steven Adams, they can play and compete in my team. So again, I have no problem with those two cards. Austin Carr up next. I'm guessing Austin Carr is probably going to be your level 15 reward if I had to guess. Point guard is 6'4", six, 6'7", six, wingspan. In my opinion, not the best. I don't know what the J Scrub release is, but Trey Leaner, I mean, even him isn't that bad. Not necessarily the best card in the game, but again, not an unusable card in general. So I don't mind any of those cards. Then we see I, who I believe, I don't. I, I guess I don't even know where these Galaxy Opals are going to be at. My guess is just continue on that grind. So I guess Jeremy Grant's going to be that level 20 reward. 6'8", 7'2", wingspan, odd spots from 4 to 5 places around the arc. Release on very quick, normal leaner, MJ dribble style. I mean, I can't hate Jeremy Grant either. I mean, a really solid small forward in my team. If he's just on the grind, you might have a reason to grind level 40 this season, especially if you're just starting the game. Elvin Hayes up next, I guess, is the level 25 reward. 6'9", 7 foot wingspan, hot spots from both corners, 83 ball, decent release. Bob Pettit, Marcus Holt side base, and he's gonna play a lot of defense. Another guy I have no problem with. Again, a card that can compete in my team, he has that small forward eligibility as well. And for me, I got Don Nelson, right? Most people have Monty Williams. Either way, 85, 88, three ball, great, perfect defense. Really solid all the way around. We're finally getting some solid cards as far as just in as you grind your way through it. I'm guessing Johnson is your level 30 reward. 6'7, six, 6'10 six, wingspan, hotspots from four to five places. Around the arc, 86, three ball, really solid defense. I, 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 let's see what his release is. I don't love that release. But he's fine. I, I, I have a 6'7 shooting guard. Galaxy up. I'm not going to hate it. So then we see Victor Oladipo. I'm guessing Oladipo is going to be your level 36 reward. If I had to guess that now, again, Oladipo could just be in another mode. That's something we're just going to have to see. 35 base Hall of Famers. 14 on gold. Can't standing dunk because he's only 6'4". But everything else about the card is fine. I don't necessarily love the big release. D-Book Leaner is good. Asta slide on Oladipo as well. The card is he's fine. I, 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 I can't sit here and hate on Victor Oladipo. The card can move. He can groove. Decent release. I, I, I don't mind Victor Oladipo at all in my team. And then we see Dominic Wilkins. Now, I have no idea where Dominic Wilkins is going to be at. So that's something, again, I'm get, if I had to guess, I'd guess collector level because he has point guard eligibility, but I don't necessarily know. You get an invincible Dominic Wilkins. Now, again, I don't know what that Dominic Wilkins base is is like. Probably not good. Uh, does or it does have the Donovan Mitchell leaner. But he has the Asta slide. He's 6'7 point guard. That's an invincible. If I had to guess, again, 
My best guess is in collector level. Again, watch my season breakdown video to see exactly where these cards are. But if he is in, a, let's say, a mode, let's say he's just like your clutch time offline or triple threat offline reward, this card's elite, okay? I'm just throwing it out there. This card is elite in my team. Reggie Theus up next. Oh, I'm guessing, well, my whole thing is Dominic Wilkins, I don't even know if it would say collector reward, but I mean, Reggie Theus, Kevin McHale are in collector level. For Reggie Theus, for me, the save and lead base is really solid and he is 6'7". So, in my opinion, he's a really solid option. I don't think he's necessarily next level good, though. If you have been grinding collector level, you get a solid point guard. To me, he's probably not top 5, though. Probably in that 5 to 10 range at the point guard position, but he is not anything greater than that. Kevin McHale's small forward is another collector level reward here. 35 Hall of Fame badges, 92 three ball. Really solid defense in here. And, and that's, what it, that's what it is for Kevin McHale. Shangun base isn't very good though. Normal leaner does have the eyes to slide. He's fine for a collector level reward, but again, not worth grinding collector level. Neither is Reggie Leas, neither is Kevin McHale. Those guys are not worth it. So I'm honestly guessing Dominique is in collector level for me. Obviously, if that's the case, he's not worth it. Now, we're going to get to our season rewards. So, I'm guessing all of these cards are your rewards. Or, so, two of them are going to be RNG. The rest of these are going to be the specific game mode. So, let's start with Rick Smith here. 7-4, seven, 7-7 seven, seven wingspan, 84 three ball, decent enough speed. Here's your Yao stop. If, is he as good as Yao overall? Probably not, just because Yao is a little bit taller. But this is your reason to not lock in Manu. This is your reason to not pay a bunch for Yao. Now, the thing you got to realize is Rick Smith could possibly be RNG. And if that's the case, obviously not worth it. But he's solid. Got a great release. Nora Molina, good dribble stakes. I mean, Rick Smith can do it all in my team. Can get literally every badge in the game. And he's a dark matter. So you're going to be able to put eight badges on him. I love Rick Smith in my team. And for me, for example... I'm going to have Don Nelson, so his speed's going to go up to that 89 with the shoe, give him a three ball and speed shoe, going to be just fine as well. Rick Smith is game changing, for real. I'm going to see where you get him, but he is absolutely game changing. Sean Elliott up next, 6'8", 6 6'11", 6 wingspan at the two, 35 out of favors, 18 on gold, great shooting, good playmaking, good defense. Let's check out his release, PJ Washington base on very quick. I can't sit up here and judge that release because I have no idea. It does get the normal leaner MJ dribble style. I don't think the card's bad. He's just not necessarily next level good. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's probably at the shooting guard position in that 5 to 10 range, which I don't want to completely complain about. Again, I don't know what that release is like. That could make or break the card. But the rest of the card is fine. The block is a little low for my liking, but everything else is fine. He could be like your clutch time offline reward. CJ McCollum up next. Here's the deal for CJ McCollum. He's not very good. He's not very good. Chai dribble style. He's not very good. CJ McCollum better be like our, you, you, our Herb Williams of this season, right? Where Herb, I think, was what? The Ascension reward? Uh, maybe draft reward? I just, I hope CJ is not like a main reward because this card uh, objectively is just not good. I, I'm not trying to sit there and slander him. But objectively, the card just leaves that little bit to be desired, in my opinion. And 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 you know what? Maybe, maybe we see CJ as like I don't know. Maybe he's on the level grind for level forty. I don't know. I just I'm not in love with CJ McCollum in my team. I think there are just way better options. Money Mitch Richmond, again, D Rob based on very quick is fine. Pro two leaner MJ dribble style, just not great. I'm not just I'm not gonna sit here and say he's horrible. But he's not even a top 10 shooting guard in the game. Like, Sean Elliott blows his card out of the water. Hopefully, he's not like a big-time reward because, again, he's he's just not great in my team. Mitch Richmond is not very good. Allen Houston up next, 6'6", six, 6'9", six, six, wingspan. He's okay, but again, he's just kiss for base on very quick pro two leaner. It, it just isn't great. Maybe a top 10 shooting guard, but that's about the max for Allen Houston. So, I mean, Rick Smith is good. Sean Elliott's good. CJ, Mitch Richmond, Allen Houston aren't necessarily anything to go too crazy about. Big artist Gilmore up next that can play power forward. 7 2, 7 5 wingspan. Hot spots from both corners. Every defensive badge in the game. Perfect play, making good shooting badges. Again, can get every badge in the game. Vando base, I'm very quick. I personally don't mind it. Normal leaner MJ, dribble style, Asta slide. Artist Gilmore is 
better than Rick Smith's. People aren't going to agree with me on that. I might be in the minority. I don't care. I think Artis Gilmore, first of all, because he can play power forward. Second of all, has just better dribble sticks and he can put the ball down. I think he's better than Rick Smith's. We'll see where Artis Gilmore is. But the positive side of things is, what are the odds both Artis and Rick Smith's are RNG? Not good. So again, watch my season breakdown video. But both these cards, absolutely elite. And I would focus on these two cards more than anything else. Sarunas of next 6'5", six, 6'8", six, wingspan, hot spots. Remember where Sarunas is elite. Sarunas is absolutely elite in my team. I don't necessarily love the Kyle Korver base, but with it, the Vince up run very quick, could be smooth, normal leaner, great dribble sigs. I like Sarunas. Not necessarily game changing, game breaking, next level good, but he is really, really solid in my team. I'd probably go Artist Rick, then Sean Elliott, then Sarunas. Probably the fourth best card we've seen so far. Hondo up next, 6'5, six, 6'8, six, wingspan. I mean, nearly an invincible card, to be completely honest with you guys animations kevin knocks base on very quick probably pretty gross but again we'll have to see normal leaner not even no asta slide hondo leaves a little bit to be desired as well so i mean if you look at hondo mitch richmond allen houston they're all in that probably 10 to 15 range at that shooting guard position cj's not good trying to probably in that 5 to 10 range at the shooting guard position but artists and rick smith saved the day because both these cards are great I just hope they are both not RNG. And then Zion Williamson, Azure level 40. O'Shea base on very quick, normal leaner. Francis, size up. He's got about as, they, they made him about as good as you possibly could. Now my thing with the Zion is, the card hasn't been great so far this year, but I do think Zion is going to be really, really solid in my team as an overall card. Again, an, invin an invincible, no hot spot from the top of the key is troll, but as far as what they could do with him, you know, without changing his position or anything, the card is really, really solid. About as solid as you can make a overall card in my team. So that is going to wrap it up for our video. Again, watch my season breakdown to see which of these guys I'm going to be focused on grinding. But again, Artis Gilmore, Rick Smiths, they take the cake. Drop a like on the video, guys. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, man, I love you guys. And have a blessed day.